Agriculture is the mainstay of Tanzania's economy. There are over 44 million hectares of arable land and only 33% of them are under cultivation. Some of the potential areas to invest in include sugarcane plantations, cotton, coffee, tea, cashew nut and grape farming, horticulture farms, sisal plantations, wheat plantations, as well as bean and cassava farms. One can also invest in the processing of these crops for export. Tanzania is the second largest uh, livestock producer in Africa, but only 1% of the livestock is processed into value added. About 70% of the high end uh, value added meat products are imported. There are very few companies in Tanzania like this which are producing value added products for the industry. So there is huge potential here in Tanzania. The manufacturing sector is in its infancy stage with few exploited areas whereby unprocessed agricultural commodities have dominated major exports. Tanzania's Vision 2025 envisages an industrialized economy powered by the manufacturing sector and as such opens up the country to potential investment, particularly in the area of textile and apparel, sugar, leather, edible oils, heavy industries, pharmaceuticals, tile manufacturing, cable and plastic manufacturing. A 1,424 kilometer long coastline, including three large lakes, presents a virtually untapped opportunity in fishing. Opportunities lie in deep sea fishing, fish farming, fish processing, and supply of fishing gear, just to name a few. Tanzania's wealth extends well beyond the surface. Tanzanite, a gemstone found nowhere else in the world, is testament to the country's mineral riches. Other minerals include gold, coal, diamonds, copper, nickel, cobalt, tin, lead, silver, uranium, rare earth metals, ruby and sapphire. Investment opportunities exist in the areas of exploration, mining and processing. Tucked away in Tanzania's 48.1 million hectares of forests and woodlands is investment gold. One can invest in industrial plantations and commercial harvesting can be done in 20 million hectares, equal to 35% of the total volume of forests in the country. Discoveries of significant natural gas reserves in recent years present an opportunity to invest in LNG extraction, further adding to Tanzania's long list of investment opportunities. Doesn't end there. The country's helium deposits in the west of the country are large enough to meet the world's demand for the gas for 20 years. Tanzania is a tourist paradise. New accommodation, entertainment facilities, camping, lodges, and guest houses of international standards. All these are untapped opportunities. Connectivity is key to Tanzania's ambitious growth objectives. The country has invested heavily in the development of its infrastructure, including road networks, railways, air travel, and ports which connect all regions in Tanzania as well as six landlocked countries. And in ensuring a conducive investment climate, the government has invested in the Julius Nyerere Hydropower Station, expected to generate 2,150 megawatts, providing reliable and affordable electricity for the entire country. While in Tanzania, investors can enjoy prosperous living in the bustling cities and in the countryside. One can access world-class amenities, such as schools, state-of-the-art hospitals that are first turning the country into a premier medical tourism destination, as well as financial institutions. Having reached middle-income status, the Tanzanian government aims at soaring even higher, 
establishing the country as a favorable investment destination and an industrialized nation that provides a high quality of life to all its citizens. Due to very attractive opportunities and favorable conditions, major international brands have already invested in Tanzania as part of their strategy to maximize on wider regional markets and other opportunities. Come and invest in Tanzania. Zanzibar, an ancient regional airport, a symbol of modernization and a center of cultural fusion. Simply an exotic destination that breezes untapped opportunities to beautiful and prosperous destiny. Welcome to Zanzibar, a tropical archipelago on the East African coast of the Indian Ocean. Zanzibar is endowed with two main sister islands, of Umbuja and Pemba, and surrounded by 53 lovely islands. Zanzibar provides spectacular investment opportunities which guarantee financial dividends. In the blue economy, infrastructure, real estate, tourism, agriculture, manufacturing and energy. Its strategic location, a stable government, and open market opportunity are just a few examples that complement the best business environment. I'm delighted to personally extend a warm welcome to our esteemed partners in development, both local and foreign investors. Zanzibar has been blessed with three main endowments that will attract serious investors. First, its nature, the vast blue ocean, the fertile tropical land with lush vegetation and white sandy beaches. Second, friendly people who have received and lived with visitors and investors for centuries, resulting in a cultural fusion that gave birth to the Swahili culture. And third, Zanzibar's proximity to mainland Africa than any other Indian Ocean island, making its location very strategic for investors who seek to take advantage of the economic regional blocks such as the East African Community, South African Development Community, and African Continental Free Trade Area. The government of Zanzibar is committed to provide conducive and friendly environment for investment. This is the role of my government, and I want to assure you that we will play our part. There are several local entities in place to provide unwavering support to this new investment climate. The President's Office, Labor, Economic Affairs and Investment. I would like to take this opportunity to join hands with His Excellency, the President of Zanzibar and Chairman of the Revolutionary Council, Dr. Hussein Ali Mouini, to extend our warm welcome to investors who are looking to invest on our beautiful islands of Zanzibar. Zanzibar has enormous potential and opportunities for investment in various areas, including exploration of oil and gas, deep sea fishing, tourism, ICT, and manufacturing. You will find that our islands provide lucrative tax incentives, including strategic investment, particularly on the island of Pemba. So kindly forward in your applications and uh, for any further information you can contact our offices at the Zanzibar Investment Promotion Authority or our ministry and uh, we assure you of our fullest cooperation. Zanzibar Investment Promotion Authority is a one-stop center for promotion and facilitation of investment, a reliable guidance for foreign and domestic direct investment. Zanzibar Investment Promotion Authority is your gate for investing in Zanzibar and the gate is wide open. While we continue to promote vast investment opportunities which exist in Zanzibar, we also stand ready to receive investment proposals from interested potential investors. We are committed to handle them swiftly and decisions to be made in a timely manner. 
For more guidance and technical know-how on the procedures and processes of investing in Zanzibar and their related issues, please go through our investment guideline and the website should you still have more inquiry. Kindly, do not hesitate to contact us for clarification. We hope to issue another guideline shortly, specifically highlighting for small isolate investment across Zanzibar. We therefore look forward to hosting you and partnering with you for mutual benefit. Asante Karibuni Sana. Right economic environment, right opportunity for investment. Part of the video showing the investment sector in Tanzania, Tanzania mainland and even also in Zanzibar. Thanks for the good video. Your Excellency, right now, please welcome Honorable Dr. Ashatu Kijaji, Minister for Investment, Industry and Trade. She's going to make her remarks and also invite Her Excellency President Samia Sulu Hassan to address this forum. Karim Sana, Dr. Your Excellency Samia Sulu Hassan, President of the United Republic of Tanzania, Sultan Ahmed bin Sulaim, Group Chairman, uh, Your Excellency Juma bin Maktoum Al Maktoum, Member of the Royal Family, Your Excellency Dr. Thani bin Ahmed bin Ahmed Al Zayud, Minister of State for Foreign Trade of the United Arab Emirates. My fellow honorable ministers for the government of the, from the government of the United Republic of Tanzania and the revolutionary government of Zanzibar, Comrade Daniel Chongolo, Chama Chama Penduzi, General Secretary, uh, Comrade Shaka Hamdu Shaka, Chama Chama Penduzi, Spokesperson, Your Excellency Ambassador Mohamed Mtonga, Ambassador of Tanzania to the United, uh, United Arab Emirates, permanent secretaries and government officials from the two governments, my colleagues, member of parliament, led by the chairperson of the Parliamentary Committee on Industries, Trade and Environment, Honorable David Mwakiposa Kihenzile, Ms. Angelina Ngalula, the chairperson, of Tanzania Private Sector Foundation, Your Excellency Humaid bin Salem, Secretary General of the United Arab Emirates Chambers of Commerce, distinguished communities, business communities from Tanzania, UAE, and other participating countries, distinguished invited guests, ladies and gentlemen, Assalamu alaikum. It is my very great pleasure to welcome you all in this auspicious event, Grand Business and Investment Forum 2022 at the climax of Expo 2020 Dubai, which is attended by Her Excellency Samia Sulu Hassan, the President of the United Republic of Tanzania. I am pleased to welcome you all in this uh, significant and paramount event this evening. Your Excellency Samia Sulu Hassan, before I welcome you to convey your opening speech, 
allow me to highlight some few important uh, points about today's forum you are soon to officiate. Your Excellency, Samia Sulu Hassan, as a minister responsible for investment, trade, and industries, I'm obliged to follow closely into your 40 steps towards your strong commitment and support, not only in a creating flourishing business environment in Tanzania, but also your readiness to move ideas into realities and measurable outcomes from our plans. Your presence in this forum today is an honor and a demonstration of a strong commitment and readiness in seeing business and investment in Tanzania growing into a higher height. Despite your tight schedule, featured with national and international obligations, we have witnessed that in the last two weeks, you have officiated two investment and business forums. One was in Paris on 14th of February 2022, and the second one was in Brussels, Belgium on 17th February 2022. Showing your readiness and commitment in seeing Tanzania becoming a business hub in, in Eastern and Southern African countries, you are here today uh, to officiate this another strategic higher level business and investment forum. Your attendance here today marks a historic moment for us Tanzanians, particularly in Tanzania's investment and business track that we are eagerly await. The business community and I, on behalf of my ministry, expresses our heartfelt thanks to you, Your Excellency, Madam President. Thank you so much, Natuna Kushukuru, Sana Sana. Your Excellency, in front of you or behind you are over 400 members of the business community from Tanzania, UAE, and other participating countries. This forum is a result of Tanzania's participation in the Expo 2020 Dubai. Tanzania is participating in this Expo as a result of her membership in the Bureau of International Exposition. This forum serves to provide an opportunity for the business community of our countries to consolidate and strengthen our economic ties through investments and trade. This is in line with the vision of your government of promoting economic growth and sustainable development through industrialization. These aspirations will not be possible without active participation of the private sector. And thus, it is our hope that through this business forum and the forthcoming one of this nature, members of the business communities will be able to deliver meaningful deliberations on business ventures with mutual benefits to our economies. Your Excellency, Tanzania has maximized, has maximized the Expo 2020 Dubai platform by promoting and showcasing the country's potentials in the sectors of tourism, agriculture, oil and gas, minerals, energy, livestock and fisheries, construction, transportation, but particularly showcasing the Kiswahili language as a potential product for today and tomorrow's business world. Your Excellency, may I inform you and the general public that during our presence here at the Expo 2020 Dubai, we have managed to coordinate 60 programs in tourism, oil and gas, energy, agriculture, and mining. 
To date, as you have witnessed in front of you, we have managed also to hold more than 126 government-to-government, government-to-business, and business-to-business -business meetings inside the Tanzanian pavilion. These meetings were coordinated by Tantrade in collaboration with the Embassy of Tanzania in UAE in and participating institutions. Congratulations to our officials who attended these meetings. It is, worth, it is also worth mentioning that by yesterday at 4 p.m. in the evening, a total of 173,000 417 people had visited Tanzanian Pavilion. For only yesterday, Madam President, the National Day for Tanzania at Expo 2020 Dubai, a total of 8,408 people visited, visited Tanzanian Pavilion. Your Excellency, Madam President, as I pointed out, this meeting is a result of our participation in the Expo 2020 Dubai. To many businesses here, this is the climax of their ongoing business engagements for the past five months, and as an outcome, and as you have witnessed in front of you, Madam President, uh, that we have managed to sign 36 memorandum of understandings uh, valued at 7.49 uh, USD billions, which is equivalent to 17.35 Tanzanian uh, shillings. This is a great achievement for us as a participants in the Expo 2020 uh, Dubai. He colleagues from the business community, I would like to give my sincere thanks to you for coming to this specific event. My very special thanks goes to the delegation of business community from Tanzania under the leadership of Ms. Angelina Ngalula. <laughs> who have taken trouble and traveled from Tanzania to Dubai, specifically for this forum. You have really shown a strong commitment and your readiness to work with our government led by Her, by her Excellency Samia Suluhu Hassan. Nawashukuruni sana sana. As a minister responsible for investment and trade, I assure you that my colleagues in other sectoral ministries and I will closely continue working with you to strengthen and sustain our ties for the flourishing future of our businesses and investments in Tanzania. I wish to inform you and other potential investors within and outside Tanzania that the 65th government is open-minded to business and investment. Tunawa karibisha sana mje tuwekeze pamoja. You are most welcome to Tanzania. Just come and invest with us. We believe in my ministry that business is nurtured. Business is nurtured and it grows in the principles of dialogue, in the principles of engagement, in the principles of trust, and finally, long-term partnering. Just come so that we work together. Your Excellency, Madam President, I wish to make a commitment to you that my ministry shall make a close follow-up to ensure that the engagements made here in front of you are realized in a win-win condition of all parties and for mutual benefits of our people. As a ministry responsible for investment and trade, we attest our commitment to ensure that your dream of making Tanzania a business hub for Eastern and Southern African countries 
is apprehended on time. Thank you, Madam President, for trusting us to lead this specific ministry. <laughs> Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, I believe I just gave some few remarks. It's a few. It's few remarks. So with these few remarks, please allow me to welcome Her Excellency Samia Sulu Hassan, the President of the United Republic of Tanzania, to address this gathering and officially open this grand business investment forum. And we say that connectivity Tanzania is uh, connected and ready for take of Karibsana Mwishmiwarais. Yeah, please be seated. I thank you, Minister, for inviting me to the podium to speak to this august gathering. Uh, Your Highnesses, Honorable Ministers, CEOs, heads of agencies, ambassadors, business communities, the Tanzania private sector and chambers of commerce from different uh, countries, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, Good afternoon and assalamu alaikum. I'm honored to and grateful to be invited to grace this important event. And I take this opportunity first thanking the Allah Almighty for giving us his blessings to attain and be able to complete the functions which have led us here in the UAE. And today we are meeting here to finalize what we have come for. I wish as well to reiterate my gratitude on behalf of the government and the people of the United Republic of Tanzania for the warm welcome and support that my delegation has been receiving from our host, which enabled the organization of this uh, forum here today. May I also wish to congratulate the ministries responsible for investment, industry, and trade from both mainland and Zanzibar, Tanzania Trade Development Authority, the Minister of Foreign Affairs and East African Cooperation, Tanzania Embassy in the U United um, Arab Emirates, all the sponsors, TPA, Sierra DB, NMB, NBC, and others, and all those who worked very hard to make this event successful. Congratulations for the job well done, and thank you very much. <laughs> Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, this event is a result of the Tanzania participation in the Expo 2020 here in Dubai, where for the first time in history of this Expo, Tanzania has put in place its own pavilion. <laughs> this move has facilitated the holding of a series of meetings with prospective companies interested in doing business and investing in our country. Most of the visitors who visited our pavilion were interested to meet Tanzanian counterparts further for discussion and agreements. And for those who concluded the agreements and wish to join the business community in Tanzania, please be assured of my government's commitment to continue creating better environment for doing business. This commitment is reaffirmed by the presence of a big delegation that comprises of honorable ministers, permanent secretaries, 
heads of agencies, bankers are also here, Tanzania Private Sector Foundation, the Chamber of Commerce from both Tanzania, Zanzibar and Tanzania mainland. We therefore warmly welcome interested investors and business partners to join us in exploiting the abandoned and untapped business potential and investment opportunities in Tanzania. The opportunities ranging from infrastructure, mining, energy, agriculture, tourism, industrialization, and blue economy, which also includes oil and gas. And we have so many other opportunities. And for those who are ready to venture, then Tanzania is the right place for you. You are welcome. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, before I conclude my remarks, allow me to allude to you that the United Republic of Tanzania is a union of Tanzania mainland and Zanzibar, and I hope you are aware of that. With a total market size of about 60 million people, Tanzania is a member of the East African community that has a market size of not less than 77 million people. Tanzania also is a member of the Southern African Development Community, SADC, which hosts a total of 16 member states with a market size of over 300 million. Currently, Tanzania has ratified the African Continental Free Trade Area Protocol, or agreement, that entails a free trade area of 55 African countries. So, by investing in Tanzania would allow the investors to enjoy the benefit of a very grand market of not less than 1.3 billion people. So you welcome to Tanzania. And you know what? Tanzania is very strategically located the port of Dar es Salaam being a gate to the whole of Africa. So when you are in Tanzania, you are in Africa. Karibu Nisan. <laughs> Furthermore, the government values the role of private sector in business and investment promotion. And it shall uphold and strengthen the public-private sector cooperation through open dialogue. Tanzania ought to join hands with the partners in the United Arab Emirates and elsewhere in the world for investment and trading. We have heard the trade investment statistics from the Minister for Foreign uh, Trade of the UAE. The statistics are relatively low. We need to do something to boost um, the amount of trade, the volume of trade and investment in our two countries. So we are happy that today um, we, have, uh, we have witnessed the signing of 36 memorandum of understandings um, which were signed among the business partners, government and other uh, business entities. And so we hope this signing should not be just a ceremony, but it's going to be uh, practically uh, implemented. I'll be standing ready to witness the practicability of what is signed here today. And in case of any, any challenges, any hurdles, any stumbling blocks from my government, please let me know immediately. Please let me know immediately. <laughs> Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, new ideas often arise and evolve when stakeholders with different backgrounds and skills meet. Fora like these ones, 
present opportunities for government and private sector to work together for the betterment of their countries. I believe that today's forum will stimulate new ideas and productive dialogue on how to enrich the business mechanism and relationship among the partners here present. So having said all that, lastly, I just want to let you know, the business communities, that Tanzania is ready to take off. We are ready to take off and let's fly together. Thank you very much for listening. Asante sana. Thank you very much, Madam President, Samia Sulu Hassan. Now, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Honorable Advocate Omar Said Shaban, Minister for Trade and Industry Development, for the vote of thanks. Karib Sanamze. Excellency, President of Tan United Republic of Tanzania, Madam Samia Sulu Hassan, Sultan Ahmed bin Sleyum, Group Chair and CEO, Your Excellency Juma bin Maktoum Al Maktoum, member of the royal family, Your Excellency Dr. Thani bin Ahmed Al Zayud, Minister of State for Foreign Trade in the United Republic Emirates. Honorable ministers present from both United Republic of Tanzania and Revolutionary Government of Zanzibar, distinguished delegates, businessmen and women from both United Arab Emirates and Tanzania, all other invitees, assalamu alaikum. Your Excellency, when I was asked to come and uh, give a vote of thanks, to, use, to be brief and use five minutes, I was asking myself, how would I explain or express million reasons in five minutes? Because there are a million reasons to thank you. But I've decided just to summarize them on four reasons to thank you, Your Excellency. And uh, I believe I'm not breaking any protocol and uh, diplomatic etiquette. If I address you, Your Excellency, as Mama, to show my appreciations and gratitude to you. <laughs> as I'm expressing my vote of thanks. Mama, we thank you for being champion of change. <laughs> we thank you because you have been using both pragmatic approach and bringing everybody on board in the journey to take off Tanzania. Mama, we thank you for being friends of private sector. A testimony has been issued, given here by the chairman of Tanzania Private Sector Foundations and other businessmen who had a lot of interactions with other people. Mama, we thank you for being diplomat number one. in your effort to unlock and connect our country with the foreign countries. Mama, we thank you for being traditionalists. We all know, for those who come from Tanzania, you have been crowned as Chief Hangaya. <laughs> and you have been showing your support to our traditions and customs. 
everywhere you go. Mama, I just want to let you know that yesterday there was a video going viral showing you how excited and emotional when you are following your Tara music. <laughs> On behalf of those who have been following you from home, I want to thank you as well. Mama, I want to thank you also for support Tanzanian business. You have been accompanied and traveling together with the Tanzanian businessmen and women whenever you make your foreign tour. You just come from Brussels and France. You just went back home for a few days. And then you come here to Dubai, also accompanied with your sons and daughters who are Tanzanian business women. <laughs> it's my pledge as well, Mama, that, and if, I, I'm sure it's not possible by now, but if it would be possible, I would also ask you from here to travel to Morocco to support Simba. who are playing today on behalf of Tanzania and the East and Central African regions. <laughs> Mama, after thanking you, I also want to thank on behalf of the organizers, all our sponsors who have made these missions here in Dubai possible. I know there are many, but I want to thank you all for your support. Asante sana, assalamu alaikum. Thank you very much, Honorable Advocate Omar Said Shaban, for the vote of thanks. Thank you. Your Excellency, Madam President, Your Highness, Sheikh Juma bin Juma, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, Will you please stand up right now because the president will be leaving shortly. Thank you very much, Madam President. Kule nyumbani tunasema mama umeupigia mwingi. Mwingi sana. Asante sana mama, we love you mama. Nashukuru sana. Thank you, ma'am. While the president and the Royal Highness will be leaving, ladies and gentlemen, let's keep on networking. Let's keep on networking.